get the feeling also with past migration in Germany that the ideal of integration is for migrants to become invisible uh, in German society. You know, the, the, uh, the more you don't notice um, a variety, the, the better it is, kind of. And I think we're uh, totally different to that uh, in, in, all, in all aspects. Most of us are, are migrants ourselves, and we know that um, kind of if you go to another country, uh, the, the, the coolest part of it is the exchange and, and growing with uh, the influence that you get and that you give. When we started, it was also, and we started sending volunteers uh, to uh, local social organizations. Like in the beginning, they could be like, but what could possibly a Spanish person contribute with? It's like, uh, well, the Spanish guy is, you know, he's a guitar player and you have like this afternoon program for underprivileged kids where you do music. He can obviously contribute with something. Like it was only Germans who could contribute to their own society, sort of. And uh, that was, uh, that was um, interesting in the beginning. But you, I think we... With a lot of those um, projects that we've been doing and a lot of those like volunteering, like we could we could really change that. And we want migrants to be, you know, active uh, contributors and participants in the society. And that should be completely normal, but it's really not. Integration is maybe not an, an end product, that, but like through, th through everything that you're doing in our projects, like maybe you go to an art uh, project or you participate in a music school i mean that's how you learn german you through doing that and like you don't you don't need a special job seeking program like but m through our network you get access to you know also job networks you get this kind of soft skills i think the the, the measurement question is really hard uh, and especially in Germany who has, are, are obsessed with numbers like obsessed with numbers and I understand there needs to be some numbers but um, I mean like for at one of our team ups there can come 150 people and uh, but we can't track every connection that is being made at that team up but for instance like a more traditional German mentoring project maybe have 12 people in their uh, in their program and and that makes it super easy for them to say oh those 12 people we can track over two years well when we have like 150 and like at one event and uh, and like 300 there and like 400 there and um, so it, it, it's for us it's a little bit weird that actually projects with less impact than us um, can actually receive more like traditional German funds. We invite politicians and policymakers and uh, people to come to our events and attend our projects. And when you do that, like there's there's a lot of clicking going on. Like when you see that live happening, it's uh, I don't know. Like you kind of I wouldn't say that you forget the numbers, but then you also understand how organic this process is and and maybe why it's important that this process also needs to stay to some extent organic. Uh, what we would need to be even more successful um, is a change in the political mindset of policymakers in Germany because that would probably ultimately result in more funds as well. Because uh, at the moment, you know, like, and I can understand that in the beginning um, of, you know, 2015, 2016, um, that the priority was um, security and housing and, and um, food for people who arrive mm -hmm. here. Um, but uh, as soon as people also on a political level understand migration as a chance and uh, as a way you know, for all of us to grow and to be more successful also on an economic level, um, as soon as that kind of uh, change would happen, you know, who knows if it ever will, um, but if that would happen, it would make our work easier um, on a lot of levels, including um, funding, of course. Mm -hmm. And I, I also think that um, there need to be a change in the mindset. Yeah, exactly. Like how you how you see migration, and that will also then change how you invest that money. So now a lot of the money is invested in those very super tangible German classes, like those super easy to follow projects that are not supporting this type of, uh, you know, more soft. Uh, soft uh, integration that we call it and uh, and that's I think where people really become citizens 
and they become a part of the community, they become a part of the country. It's, you don't become a part of the country in the German class. I'm really sorry, that's just not, that's just not happening.